Today, I'm going to show you how I've ranked number one multiple times within 24 hours, as you can see right here. So we've got the keywords on the left and then the target page. And as we scroll down, you can see with AI SEO, and I'll show you how to automate it in a minute, we've ranked multiple times number one on the first page of Google for our target keywords. And this process I'm about to show you is just like a crazy loophole that is working over and over and over again. It's absolutely outrageous. And so today, what I'm going to share with you is exactly how to leverage AI plus a method that will break down so that you can rank. And bear in mind, like LinkedIn's traffic, particularly LinkedIn polls, has taken a massive hit over the last few months. But the good news is, so you can see the traffic has gone down from 11.1 million all the way down to like 4.7 million. So that's a huge drop in SEO traffic. But as we can see right here, all these pages are actually increasing in traffic week on week. So if we compare the rankings now, 29th of September, and we'll compare that, say, versus the previous six months, all of these pages are just absolutely flying up, as you can see right here, SEO training. One thing you're going to know, even for affiliate-related keywords like Best Indexer, we're ranking number one, as you can see right here, that's jumped up 49 places. And the formula that I'll get into in a minute is just working over and over again. Plus, I'm going to show you how to do this without, like, spamming the internet and creating trash, because... Nobody wants to do that. I'm going to give you a responsible, ethical way to do this so that you, you create an SEO content that even when LinkedIn's rankings are going down, your rankings go up, as you can see right here. So let's get straight into it. Let's run through the keyword strategy for this profile. So basically, if you look at my LinkedIn profile, it is relevant to the topic of SEO, which means... I think that it's going to be much easier to rank for SEO related keywords. So for example, if I'm an SEO and I start posting about plumbing on my LinkedIn page, probably not going to make much sense. So when it comes to the keyword research, you really want to focus on all the keywords that are relevant to your niche. And some people say that's super obvious, but actually you'd be surprised how many people don't pick a niche or just try and rank for everything instead of being topically relevant, right? So if my website is about SEO, then I'm going to create content around SEO, like SEO training in Japan, best SEO indexer, SEO training Gold Coast, etc. Best rapid website indexer, link outreach service. And these aren't like super easy keywords. Like, for example, this is a KD21. If we actually pull up this example keyword right here that we're ranking for, obviously it's buyer intent focused, so it's about link outreach. Secondly, usually this would require about 23 backlinks to rank for it, and it has a decent traffic potential. So these are not like random keywords, they do actually get traffic. These are not like super easy keywords because so you can see here this requires normally 23 backlinks to rank and you can see this actually is a buyer intent related keyword, right? And if we scroll down to the first page, what's crazy about this is that uh, normally you would need backlinks to rank with most websites, right? So for example, if I was just publishing this on juliangolder.co.uk, I'd probably need anywhere between 20 and 50 backlinks to rank. Like for example, if we look at who's ranking on the first page, we can see the Hoff have 140 backlinks. Outreach link agency, eight backlinks. Link builder IO, eight backlinks pointing to their page. My page has zero backlinks pointing to it, but it's still ranking on the first page of Google. This is the thing about LinkedIn. Because it's user-generated content, and because it's a user-generated platform, you can actually rank really quickly and get a lot of traffic to what is essentially a sales page if you set up your profile correctly, and then you can start ranking. So that's the keyword strategy. Basically, just pick higher related keywords in your niche that you can easily rank for. Now, if you're not sure how to do this, a free way to do it, you can go into a tool like Answer the Public. We can put in our keyword or our niche. So let's say we'll go for SEO training. Just make sure the language in the country is correct. And then we'll wait for that to load. This is super useful because what I like most is the alphabetical section, right? When I'm picking keywords, like you can get loads of great ideas just by scrolling down to the alphabetical section. So for example, SEO train in Denver, SEO train in Dubai, SEO train in London. These are all keywords that we could rank for and potentially get customers. And it'd be fairly easy to rank for those relevant keywords using my LinkedIn profile. And the crazy thing about this is like LinkedIn tends to rank better than my own website. I would much rather my actual website ranks better, but because of the way that the algorithm runs now with user generated content, I've seen this not only on LinkedIn, even, for example, like YouTube content as well. So if I type like Notebook, which is obviously a massive tool by Google, you can see 
if we scroll down, the, the content I created about Notebook LM just 24 hours ago is already ranking on the first page of Google. And, and so user-generated content, it just ranks really, really well. And, so, and diversifying away from just your website and publishing across multiple platforms is a good strategy as long as you're keeping the quality high. Now, you might say, how do you know if you're keeping the quality high? What I like to do is just check the impressions I get over time, right? So for example, if I look at LinkedIn, I can see that our impressions rate is just growing all the time on this platform. We're always hitting new highs, right? And so this isn't like you're creating spam. Like if your content is actually performing well organically, then that's a really good sign that the, the content you're creating is actually useful. So just to recap, you can find keywords. It doesn't necessarily need to be super low competition with LinkedIn because even if you need a lot of backlinks to rank for that keyword, you can still rank on the first page with LinkedIn and you don't necessarily need to build backlinks to that page. Like for example, the keywords that you can see me ranking for here, and you can see there's like 707 keywords we're ranking for using just my LinkedIn profile. When you're ranking for these keywords, you don't need to build backlinks to your LinkedIn page from what I can see. It's probably gonna help, but you don't necessarily need it to rank. And you can actually outrank other pages, as you can see right here for link outreach service, even if you don't have any backlinks pointing to the page. So just go through relevant keywords for your niche, Answer the public is a great option. If you have access to Ahrefs, it's even better. And then you can quickly find keywords to create content around. Now, when it actually comes to optimizing the page, what I tend to do is keep it really, really simple. So you can see here, we've got the keyword inside the title. So SEO training in Indonesia. We've got the keyword in the first line as well, as you can see right here. And then we've optimized the content to specifically promote our training program inside the content. Right? So for example, if you're selling a product or a service, I wouldn't recommend LinkedIn for affiliate keywords because I think you, your profile is probably going to get taken down unless you use it sparingly. So like we've got a few articles ranking with affiliate, but we don't post a lot of affiliate content on LinkedIn because it is asking for a clapping. And you can see here, we've customized the content inside this AI article so that it promotes our program within the content. Right? So if someone's looking for SEO training in Indonesia, then straight away it recommends SEO training in Indonesia. And then it takes them to this page right here where they can just buy it straight off the bat, right? And basically what you do, the other thing that people can do is they can comment and also quite a lot of people just check out your profile. So you can see here, for example, we've had 2,800 views on the profile recently, 60,000 impressions just over the last seven days. Like it does get you a lot of reach on LinkedIn when you rank for these keywords and you just funnel traffic to your main funnels. So in terms of on-page optimization, keyword in the title, keyword in the first line, pretty basic right there. And then throughout the content, just recommend your program, right? Now, if you're wondering, okay, how do you create SEO optimized content that recommends you throughout? I actually have a prompt for you right here, as you can see, you can go into a tool like Claude, just put in your keyword. So keyword equals SEO training in Indonesia, then add the source context. So for example, Julian Gold's SEO elite circle training is the best. And then you can just plug that into Claude to create the content oh, as well as pretty good for this. Honestly, I don't like the content that comes out of GPT-01, so I wouldn't recommend that, but you can see here how quickly you can easily generate a keyword optimized article. That's basically like the frame. You would still edit this before you publish it. You're still going to quality control it, which I'll show you in a minute, but you can see here how throughout the content we're subtly promoting the SEO training program that we have so that we can funnel traffic to the sales page later, right? And then just literally throughout the content, we have multiple calls to action because we want to make it as simple as possible for people to click on the funnel and buy something directly. At the end, we include a few frequently asked questions, which again, subtly sells the program as people read it. And then final CTA right there, right? So how can I enroll? And then they can just check out the training right there. The other cool thing with LinkedIn, particularly if you're generating SEO traffic is that there's a lot of social proof, right? Because for example, if someone sees your profile and they're like, oh, this guy, he's written the article, he's got 17,000 followers on LinkedIn, he's got over 500 connections, he's got loads of testimonials, etc. and he publishes content regularly. It shows that you're legitimate in a way that your website probably can't unless you've got a lot of social proof on your website. And so that is more likely to convert as well. So it's really good for SEO and it's also really good for ranking and creating content. Now there's some stuff that you really wanna be careful of if you're using LinkedIn to publish content. Number one is fact checking the content because obviously AI gets that wrong a lot of the time. Apparently Microsoft have a new tool called correction that's supposed to avoid hallucinations, but I've not tested it out yet. You can see that it was just launched a couple of days ago. Basically it's got like an AI safety tool to find errors and correct hallucinations, which I think will be really, really useful 
for most people watching this creating SEO content with AI. And the cool thing about this as well, that you're adding EAT's signals naturally within the content, right? So for example, when people land on your article on LinkedIn, it's got lots of EAT because it shows that you're an active user. I think on LinkedIn as well, you can see that the reactions feed directly from LinkedIn, right? So for example, if someone likes your content on LinkedIn, the reaction itself will feed into LinkedIn on Google, as you can see right here. So it has one reaction and then when it was posted. But yeah, really crazy how easy this stuff ranks. And I don't think it's going to be like that forever. I think that as you can see from LinkedIn's traffic, like it's gradually going down over time. And I'm sure that they're probably clamping down on that. But for now, it's just working really, really well. And whether you like it or not, it's ranking better than most websites. Even for like discount and coupon related codes, it ranks pretty well. So like SE ranking discounts. The other thing I would say is like a lot of these keywords ranked number one within 24 hours, but some of them are just jumping up gradually. So for example, like this article right here, I think that was created a week ago using autoblogging. I think that was created a week ago with autoblogging and eventually just ranked up to, it took about seven days and then it flew up to the first page to ranking number one on Google. So some of these keywords will take a little while, but a lot of them are ranking within 24 hours. Absolutely crazy. So just to recap, we've talked about how to optimize your profile, basically make it like a sales page so that it converts if people click through to your profile. Plus that will demonstrate social proof, which means that you're more likely to convert the traffic that you get. Additionally, if you need help on publishing the content and how to do it, I've actually got a free method right here. And I talk through how to do it in terms of quality control. I've shown you the SEO checklist I would recommend using before you actually publish. And then indexing, just do check for a no index tag, right? If it's the first time you're using LinkedIn, you might have to post for a little while and create some content on your actual profile before your content is indexable. But from what I've seen, I don't know many people having issues with that unless it's a brand new profile. And then if you're wondering how to index your content, I've got some tips on it right here in the SAP. It's gonna, what's going to be interesting is like if you see LinkedIn's traffic since March 2024, it's gradually decreasing. It's kind of like in a negative ranking state. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens over the next few months, because if that continues dropping at the same rate, then nothing is going to be ranking for, for LinkedIn. But let's see what happens next. So what's very interesting is some of the other keywords that are ranking with LinkedIn. This isn't just for like B2B niches. Like for example, if we look at the top ranking keywords for LinkedIn posts, you can see in just general terms like ChatGPT, TikTok Recharge, TikTok coins, etc. Like there's loads of random stuff that LinkedIn Pulse is ranking for. And some of these pages again, like 7,000 traffic, and that's just in the United States, right? If you switch that to, for example, like Germany, other countries like that, you'll probably find even more stuff ranking because there's less competition. So we've talked through how to find the keywords. How do you do that? You use answer the public. We've talked through how to create the content. How do you do that? You use Claude and the prompt from the SAP today. We talked through how to optimize the content. And if you need an example of that, just check out my LinkedIn profile. Just type in Julian Goldie or uh, LinkedIn on Google and you'll find it. And, and we've also talked through how I rank number one in 24 hours and then how to proofread and quality control your content so that you're not spamming as well. So thanks so much for watching. If you want to get access to this SAP and all the tips and templates, including the SAP inside here, feel free to get that link in the comments and description to my free SEO course. Once you've logged in, Go to the free SEO course and then go to SEO systems and then LinkedIn. Some people say, oh, it's really easy for you, Julian, because you have a link building agency and you can build backlinks to these pages. But actually, I don't, as I've shown you, a lot of these pages are ranking without backlinks. Some people are watching this and be like, oh, I can't afford to create the content, but actually you can do it for free using Claude, as I've shown you today with the prompt inside the SP. Also, another question that we get asked sometimes is, do you need a premium profile for LinkedIn? But you absolutely don't. So thanks so much for watching. If you want to get a free one-to-one -one SEO strategy session, feel free to put that in links in the comments and description. We'll show you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 business a month, generate thousands of dollars in sales on autopilot based on what's working for us. You can see we experiment with SEO and we publish new case studies every single day because we're testing the latest methods that 99% of people on YouTube will not show you. And if you want to get a free link building acceleration session, we will give you an SEO domination plan custom tailored to your business on the call. You'll discover the secrets of SEO link building. We'll answer any questions you have one-to-one. -one. You'll learn the best link building strategies for your website, plus how to outrank your competitors with link building and how to 10x your SEO traffic based on what's working for us. Appreciate you watching. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.